Yeah. Coach Mulkey has said that you have more joy in your heart than any player she's ever coached. Mm-hmm. Well, how would you describe your, your personality and just your, your kind of joy for life? Um, I just think, you know, waking up is a blessing. Uh, being able to play the game we love is a blessing. I think when you take the bigness out of it, it's just like we were once kids that was like, I want to play at this level. And like to be able to do that, like you just kind of can't take it for granted. Yeah, you got emotional talking about your your mom and your friend yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Uh, what's it like to have her here for Easter, and and, and what impact has she she played and everything? Yeah, man, just, you know, it's just good to have that support system. That's all the support system I had. Like, my father, you know, he died before I was born, so just having my mama, like, she's always been there for me every step of the way, whatever I need. She sacrificed so much, and I'm just thankful for her, for her to be able to see me, you know, blossom into the person I am, because it's all credit to her. How many phone calls and emails is she taking a day on behalf of you for NIL appearances, all those things? Yeah, she's my manager, she's my agent, she's everything. So she's taking a lot, she's working a lot. Like she's working so much and the train wouldn't run without her, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You're doing a thing where if your basketball game would drop off any, people would say she's spending too much time on rap. Yeah. So how are you balancing both of them? Uh, well, you know, in March, I don't do nothing but basketball. In the summer, I do music and basketball. So basketball never stops for me. Music kind of gets put on a pause, and people don't know that. But I got a, gro- a great team at Equity and Rock Nation, and they put out my songs and my music and things like that. So it's all good. This latest Ain't My Fault song. Yeah. You were playing it in the tunnel before you came out on the floor. Yeah. Tell, tell me about that one. And the, the team is obviously, when they play it, I can see Angel, you know, Voice and the words, yeah. And the lyrics and everything. Yeah, no, I, I made that song last year, and uh, the team, my team at Rock Nation, they was like, bro, we love this song. We gotta put this out. Like, this is a joint for the summer, and so you know they put it out, and it was perfect timing, I guess. So you didn't just record that? That's been done. Nah, America, yeah, yeah it, it, it's been done. Uh, they just finally Wait. put it out, so I'm just going with the flow. Okay. So you guys What's the support like? Kevin like, Simon. She just glows when she's talking about it. Yeah. Just had her talk I'm about it. Yeah. yeah. It's just good to have, you know what I'm saying, I, I think I really worked my way into this and Coach Moki, she always believed in me, but I think she believed me more in what I could do for the team. And she just gave me a lot of confidence, like when your coach believes in you, it's like, it's nothing I can't do. Um, coach said the old cliche, you know, we can't contain, or we can't stop Hayden Clark, we'll try to contain her, right? right. So what, the approach, you were there last year, so trying to do it again this summer. Yeah, man, I think, uh, you know, we got a, a, a good chance to do something special if we just follow our scouting report and stay poised. I think this win is going to be about being poised, and the loss is going to be about being poised. It's going to be the team who can be poised, who can be efficient, and who can go out and follow scouting report. And I think we can do that to make it happen. Caitlin Clark, like I call it a Clarkster, like. Uh, <laughs> She's uh, she's an amazing player. She's done amazing things for women basketball, but we definitely want to take on that challenge for sure. Michaela says she doesn't know what to expect. She's just gonna follow you and Angel. Tomorrow. Yeah, like I, I, I always tell Michaela, like come in the game, watch her film, make sure you prepare as much as you can. But it's nothing like being on that court and experiencing it. Like I said it last year. Like last year, I caught Clark in transition. And she was nearer the half court line. I'm like, she's not finna shoot this. And she shot it right in my face. I was like, I got my welcome to the Clark Show moment. So, uh, for Michaela, it's just gonna be understanding matchups, uh, understanding, being aware, because not only is she a great shooter, she's a great passer. So, trying to take away some of that playmaking things that she do. It's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be worth it. There are new pieces, right? I mean, Jasmine Carson's not gonna be out there, Alexis Morris, a lot of the yeah. heroes from last year, but you've got new pieces like Haley and Anissa who are gonna probably yeah. play their roles, right? I mean, yeah, it's not, I mean, last year was last year, but I think um, on paper, we obviously have a better team, but it's gonna be like in those moments, who can come through in the clutch? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just gonna be about who got the hot hand. Yesterday, I had the hot hand. Maybe Maybe it'll be Michaela, maybe it'll be Nice. It don't matter. Like whoever get the high hand, we're gonna feed them the ball and we're gonna go to work. Simple. Yeah. We got a, we got a lot of threats. Like in the rap game, they're villains too. Yeah, there's a lot what of villains villain too. Thing? That's, what do you think about it? I mean, I think like I, I guess it's a good storyline for the media. It's more so what the media make out of everything. You know what I mean? Because yesterday, if you would have been in the handshake line and heard what was said to both sides, they're always gonna catch Angel saying whatever Angel saying. They're never gonna look at the other person. So 
you know, I don't really think we the villains per se because we do a lot for the for women's basketball, for the community and the players that we are. So, I, I, you can say it's a villain role, but nah. How special is it for you to be able to, to move women's basketball in the trajectory that it's going? You're at the forefront. Yeah, it's beautiful just being able to be a like a a good role model. I just noticed like so many young girls look up to us and young guys too. So it's just about blazing that trap, and it's like we don't have really a blueprint to really follow because like we're creating it now with social media and everything so it's a new time and I'm just I'm just grateful to be a part of it for real for real. Going off of that, this game has the potential to break the record again and be the most watched women's basketball yeah. game of all time. Just, what's it like being a part of that and stepping onto that court and knowing that? I don't really think about that too much because I feel like once you get wrapped in the biz bigness of it you forget about just the game and you get caught in the antics like no I think you have to I think you have to just stay poised in the moment just say I'm going to play another basketball game. Of course we know it's going to be eyes on us but for me and my mental I just make sure that I know that I'm present and I'm just playing another game. You gotta just trust your head coach in a situation like this. Yeah, I think you gotta trust her and you know she gotta trust us. You know what I'm saying? Like we made plays all year. It'll be no different uh, tomorrow. We'll make plays. We'll have turnovers. Things will go wrong. But as long as we stick together and stay together and stick to the game plan, I think we'll be okay.